So good day fellow problem solvers, welcome to this channel. As some of you already know, my name is Johan Oosthuizen. So it's commendable that you're joining me. So remember to like, share and subscribe. Share with your friends, they also want to pass maths and accelerate. So yes, expanding concepts and numbers and rounding numbers off. How to do that? So that's what today's video is all about. Stay tuned. Now let's look at working with these numbers. So it's one thing to know the definition of numbers, but now we also uh, should know how to apply these numbers with calculations. So the first thing I would like to address is the expanded form. And this is a number written as the sum of its digits. So as an example, let's write down the number 1234. If I write this down in this expanded form, then I can say, hey, this is equal to 1000 plus 200 plus 30 plus 4. Let's do another example. Uh, let's say, for instance, this is 6054. Its expanded form will look as follows. 6,000 plus 50 plus 4. So again, a number written as the sum of its digits. So here we have the digits that we expand into the sum of these various digits. Okay, the second part of working with numbers is approximation. Sometimes it's not needed to have the exact value, especially if we talk about uh, big numbers. Like think of the world population. Many people just say approximately 7 billion. Others say no, 6.5 billion. Uh, you know we are working with 500 million as a difference between those two numbers. But it's, it doesn't really matter if, depending on the application. So a rough value that is not exact, that is an approximation. So the part of uh, mathematics that we work with is rounding off. Okay, so in rounding, you need to specify unto which digit or decimal you're rounding off. Let's take an example, and we can use the same number as 1,234 as an example. So let's say 1,234. If I now say, let's round this number off to the nearest unit, then I'll just write down what is here. But if I say to the nearest tenth, then I will say, okay, it's approximately 1,230. Okay, so this is to the nearest tenth. If I say to the nearest hundred, then we're going to look at the hundreds. Okay, so it's 1,234. So in other words, this value is below 50. So therefore, this will become 1,200. So with the nearest 10, you look at this 4 value, and you see the 4 is below 5. So therefore, it will be 1,230. Okay, so if we want to look at another example, 6,000 and 57 okay so if i say round off to the nearest unit it will stay exactly where it is if i say round off to the nearest 10 and this is where it becomes now interesting this 7 is more than half of a 10 right so in this case rounding off to the nearest 10 this will become 6060 Rounding off to the nearest 100, you can see here it's 57, right? So this will then become 6,100. So hopefully this will help you. So this is rounding off to the nearest 10th, and this to the nearest 100, to the nearest 10, to the nearest 100.